hello everyone welcome back to my channel if you are new to my channel you are welcome and please subscribe like share and comment and to my old subscribers thank you for always coming back so guys this video is about coronavirus this virus is now in nigeria yes an italian man who arrived in nigeria on the 26th of this month fell sick and he was diagnosed of the virus now watch the video so we have a traveler that started his journey from Milan on Monday the 24th of February. He transited through Istanbul from Turkish Airlines and arrived in Lagos on Monday night at 9 p.m. He spent the night in a hotel near the airport and on Tuesday morning he moved on to his business in Ogun State where he's engaged by a corporate entity. He carried out business in Ogun State within the confines of that company on Tuesday and on early part of Wednesday. In that company, he spent the night in their accommodation, which is a confined environment, guest house. Uh, by the afternoon, he started to develop symptoms of high fever and body pains. He presented to the company medical facility where the investigation began. Because he gave a history of his origin from Italy, where we know there is a young outbreak happening, it was very astute of the medical practitioners in that facility to keep him overnight in an isolated environment. They contacted us at the biosecurity unit in Lagos for assistance. We immediately asked them to transfer the case to Lagos. He was brought to our high containment facility in Yaba on Thursday morning. Immediately he arrived, he was put into strict isolation and the appropriate tests were ordered. Within hours, we received the same. So I'm going to play another video on how you can prevent it and also boost your immune system. I hope you're having a great day. Well, with this current epidemic of the coronavirus all over, especially China and people who are leaving from China, we need to understand how this virus works so that we can take corrective and preventative action right now. It involves your immune system. And as we know that this is a virus which has never mutated in a human being before, which is why there is no current solution for it. And prevention is the best way. How we can keep our immune system strong is not just going to help us with the coronavirus, but everyday bugs that exist all around us, pollution, contamination and food and all of these things right now. So we need to understand that the coronavirus affects the upper respiratory system. Basically, some of the symptoms that you need to look out for are a runny nose accompanied by fever, coughs, headaches, a sore throat, basically a general feeling of feeling unwell, breathing issues and inflammations in the lungs, not to be confused with pneumonia. So we need to understand that this virus has an incubation period of about 14 days. So if you have any of these symptoms that are persisting for over six to seven days, you must, must take medical intervention immediately because the faster you solve this problem and boost your immune system, the better it is going, the better it's going to be for you. So let's go over a couple of things that we can do right now to boost our immunity, immunity of our parents, immunity of our kids and little lifestyle changes that we should do irrespective of any virus happening in the world right now. Number one is washing your hands. You know, we grew up with this habit, but today most people have forgotten about it. They take out a really cheap sanitizer and they think by, you know, sanitizing their hands, which is actually taking out all of your microbes and lowering your immune system over time, that doesn't work. The good old soap and water is the best way to do it. You're traveling, you don't have access to that. You want to use an essential oil-based sanitizer that really just takes away what it needs to take, leaving your microbes in place most of the time. Keep your hands and fingers away from your mouth, your nose, your eyes. If you constantly have the habit of, you know, playing with your nose or your eyes or rubbing your face, you want to make sure you don't do this without washing your hands. Of course, you want to try to avoid close contact with people who have these kinds of symptoms. 
Avoid crowded places. If you must be in a crowded place, airport, it is safer for you to wear a mask at any point. Avoid consumption of raw foods at this point, especially raw vegetables, raw meat, raw eggs, and all of that stuff. And like I said, wear a mask wherever you can, especially on an airplane and private pla and uh, crowded places. Now let's talk about the top antiviral foods that you can add into your diet right now. Like I said, whether you're sick, whether you're looking at boosting your immune system, the one thing that we need to ingrain into our subconscious mind is your immune system is your first and last line of defense in the human body. Your kids, you, your parents, your immune system has to be strong. You can be the fittest person, but you can still get seriously sick if you have a low immune system. Number one, garlic. We need to understand that garlic is a powerful antiviral. You can eat this raw, you can mash it, you can put it in your drinks, you can put it into your soups, you can mix it with a tablespoon of honey. In fact, chopped garlic stored in honey, good raw unpasteurized honey for two to three days and have a garlic clove every single day is a fantastic way to boost your immunity, your immune system to basically fight virals. Star anise is a spice. It's a flower space spice, a uh, flower shaped spice. And this contains something called shikimic acid. The same shikimic acid is used by pharmaceuticals to basically manufacture something called Tamiflu. As you know, Tamiflu is used for the influenza virus. Shikimic acid in the star anise is super powerful as an antiviral. So you need to understand you can take star anise and you can boil it in water, add it to your teas, boil it with your tea, make a concoction, make an infusion. If you're brewing green tea or black tea, you wanna put that in or put it in your food. But the best way to extract shikimic acid is by boiling it. So this is great for your system as well. So is ginger. So if you just take mashed ginger, you put star anise, you make a concoction out of that, add a little bit of raw unpasteurized honey, that's great for your immune system and viruses at any given point. Coconut oil. You can cook in pure, uh, pure cold-pressed coconut oil or you can have it even raw. This contains caprylic acid and lauric acid, two components which are essential in boosting your immune system to fight virals. And then we have resveratrol rich foods. You'll find this in black grapes, raw cacao, supplement form, pistachios, black raisins, and of course a glass of wine, which I don't advise you to drink if you're sick, you know. So the idea is you'll even find it in strawberries. And then of course we have vitamin C rich foods. So you can have it in amla, lemon, citrus foods, green peppers, yellow peppers, red peppers, or of course a vitamin C supplement. So these are the quickest ways that you can boost your system right now. There's a beautiful antiviral soup that we like to put a lot of our cancer patients on, especially post chemo because their immune systems are very, very low. So you have sweet potato, I'll share these notes after the video. You have sweet potato, you have garlic, you have spring onions, you have parsley and rosemary. You make this into a soup and it is fantastic for boosting your immune system, especially when you have a cold, a flu and a viral. Now antiviral herbs are like oregano. Tulsi, this grows abundantly in our country and you can buy the dried oregano, you can buy the dried thyme, you can buy the dried Tulsi or even the fresh Tulsi. And these are highly antiviral. You can make a tea out of it, you can put it into your curries, but they're great for respiratory health. Now, in case you have a mucus problem and you find constantly that you have a lot of mucus in you, the sooner you break down this mucus, the better it is because the more mucus you have in your lungs, you literally create a breathing ground for virals, viruses, bacteria, and pathogens. So a strong immune system also relies on very little mucus in your system. The easiest way to break down mucus in your system is again, ginger, garlic, taking a tablespoon of thyme, taking a tablespoon of oregano, making a tea out of this and drinking it. That loosens up the mucus and then you can cough it out or you have a runny nose and it comes out of your nose at the same time. You can also use essential oils, inhaling essential oils like thyme, oregano, sage, eucalyptus, star anise essential oils. Get it in the diffuser, keep it in your room because the more you keep inhaling this, the more mucus release and breakdown happens into your system. Over and above this, common points to keep your immune system strong. Maintain your vitamin D3 levels. If you have low vitamin D3 levels, you have low immunity. So please understand no amount of popping superfood capsules and eating superfoods will help if your basic vitamins are deficient in the human body. You need good vitamin D3 levels. 
you got to, you need a good probiotic or a prebiotic because you want to keep your gut healthy. The healthier your gut, the stronger your immune system. You don't have to do prebiotic and probiotic supplements. You can get it from your natural prebiotic foods like apple cider vinegar, onion, garlic, sakra, your pickled vegetables, kimchi, or you can get you can get your probiotics from your yogurt, a good organic, nice, ethically produced yogurt, or you can get it from rice kanji, beetroot kanji, or a supplement if you don't want to do that. The quickest way to lower your immune system and the quickest way to boost your immune system is get off white sugar. And right now, people who are infected with this or people who live in this country must stop sugar completely. Because like I said, it's not about what you feed yourself to boost your immune system. It's what you take away that is destroying your immune system. And white sugar is at the top of that list. So you cut down white sugar right away if you want to keep your immune system strong, especially now. Okay. And then of course, the minerals that boost immunity are zinc and selenium. You can find zinc and selenium in a supplement or you can find it in almonds, pumpkin seeds, sunflower seeds, okay, pistachios, cashew nuts, of course, unsalted. So these are little things that we can do coupled with good exercise. You want to keep that blood circulating and of course, proper sleep. Your immune system can only repair itself and get stronger when you are in a state of complete rest, which is when you are sleeping. So you do these things, you empower your own intelligence of your human body to protect you, and hopefully all of us will be safe out there. Have a great day, everyone. Until next time, eat smart, move more, sleep right, and breathe deep. So you guys heard him. Prevention is better than cure. Now, watch this video from a Nigerian pastor. To go and deal with coronavirus. Amen! I am going prophetically to destroy coronavirus. Amen. I am going to China. I want to destroy coronavirus. Amen. Give me children there. Give me children there. Where there is a prophet, people will not die. Amen. When there is a prophet, people will not die. Amen. I cannot be a prophet. I am in this world and uh, China is dying. It's not possible. Children, sit down here. Sit down. Twelve children, sit down here. No, sit down. You sit down first there. Sit down, sit down, sit down. Sit down, sit down. Twelve children only. Oh yeah, stretch your hand. The reason why I want to do this is because our people that go to China to import goods, some of them because of this coronavirus, every problem, they begin to, you know, no more business, no more activities. I am coming to China right now. On the Guys, did you hear him? He said he's going to China to prophetically deal and destroy coronavirus. But does he need to go to China before he can destroy the virus? No, because the virus is now in Nigeria. Guys, this is so scary. The way this thing is spreading, is spreading so fast. You guys heard what the white man said. Always wash your hands. Sanitize your hands. Avoid public areas and take those things he mentioned to boost your immune system. So guys, I'm going to stop this video here. Thank you so much for watching. May God protect us. Amen. I'm going to stop this video here. I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.